Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to check another feature of S3 that is the encryption. So if we want to encrypt data, so by default, the encryption was disabled, I believe. Let me see, it was some default encryption. We can see it's disabled. So you can go into properties and you can enable inscription, encryption from here. We enable it and it's asking which one will be we using. Uh, it's S3 managed, be, the key is provided from Amazon. It's a Amazon managed. And we can either use that one or the managed key. <clears throat> so the key will be provided. Uh, so it's a key that we provide, but it's uh, uh, basically is saved or managed in KMS so again KMS key that's or choose from your AWS AMS key if we have we can either go ahead and create one or choose one or we can create a new key or bucket key or we can if we go ahead and create one let's see what happens we can make a symmetric asymmetric encrypt decrypt generate and verify Mac different options basically if it's a symmetric uh, the same key is used for uh, encryption and decryption if we create a symmetric it's basically a public and private key public key is you can freely give it to anybody but the private key you only keep it if you share it your encryption is gone for good <clears throat> and symmetric yeah it's the same key uh, it, these are between trusted parties so you cannot give it out publicly now encrypt and decrypt what the key usage will be pretty simple generate and verify Mac Mac is the H Mac hash Mac basically message it's not the media access control it's the uh, message authentication code that you hash it and that hash is uh, checked against that key so custom key store cloud hsm so these are different options so basically if you select this uh there's an a use uh save your key in there external is that that is yours and kms is where we were talking about earlier that we provide the key and it's saved in there the one thing that i know for sure i'm going to cancel it out of here because uh request failed <clears throat> so we gonna go back to uh, custom key store just take a look so th the reason I was saying that uh, not to use KMS and use the s3 because for each time an object is put or retrieved they there is um, I it's hard to explain right now for me because what happens is that each time you use it, there's a counter and in different region, the counter is like 5,500, 11, uh, uh, 10,000 and 20,000, something like that. So that is being used both ways. So, uh, and you cannot raise that quota, the, hey, I need more quota of being able to use that key. So something like that. So it's always better to use S3 if you are expecting heavy uh, retrieval of those files from S3. So we're gonna go back to S3. <clears throat> go to our file uh, bucket. Gonna go to properties. Hopefully it's enabled, but not or. Oh, oh draw default encryption disable. We're gonna enable it and we're gonna use the S3 manage key and save. Now it's uh, enabled. If we were to go ahead and upload something, so I've selected a file, I'm gonna upload it. In progress, success, if I click the file, It's under, should be under permissions. 
I'm trying to look for that uh, encryption. Server side encryption setting enabled and server side encryption. So this this is how you know that it is enabled and this is how this file was encrypted. Now, now there is no need to make it them public if you are encrypting them. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one.